Hello everyone, welcome to another video on my channel. Channel's been going pretty well. Um, just started up in March. A little bit about what this video is about. Uh, I am on 226A um, South. I'm away from the bottom up towards Little Switzerland and in. Uh, that road is also named as um, the Diamondback. Just got on here. Um, it's my first time riding this road. Most of the way I come down here since I live in the Tri-Cities area of East Tennessee is I come up by Pass Rome Mountain, uh, pass a little small town there, and then come up, oh lord, bunch of gravel on the road, um, and pull it up um, most of the way here on 221 South, I believe it is. It's a pretty good little ride, it's a little two lane, kind of rural, um, not a whole lot of traffic. It's not really that uh, many curves as this is so far. but. Pretty good way to get there um, with not a lot of traffic. Did uh, counter a few cars, but not too bad. So far, uh, been a good day. Of course, now people got the grass on the yard too. Road, I mean, thanks. Um, been a good day riding. I've already rode, I'm right at 60 miles in just uh, a couple hours. So, been doing a good bit of riding today and do a lot more by the time I'm done with this road. And then I think what I'm going to do after this is. Once I get to the top of Little Switzerland Inn, I think after this what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pick up the Blue Ridge Parkway. It is an absolute gorgeous day here in the Tri-Cities um, in late August. Um, granted, it is a little warm, but it's better than raining and being uh, stuck inside and looking outside and being wishing you're riding and enjoying the, the weather because before I know it here, uh, you know, several months um, from now, around after Christmas, It'll be snowing and it'll be cold and all these people that know that know they like to ride like myself and enjoy it uh, be wishing they were riding in instead of looking at the bike sitting in the garage and looking outside. I know I go through that myself and just waiting to get a new riding season started. Um, but this is my uh, second year with this bike I'm riding. It's a 07 Yamaha SE6 which is a 600 inline four cylinder. Uh, it's basically a naked bike with a nose fairing, um, a lot like an SV650 is with a nose fairing, but a different motor. Um, really have enjoyed this bike a lot. It's, it, it does everything well. It doesn't necessarily, you know, I wouldn't really say that it would be great for, you know, racking up, you know, five, six hundred miles in a day, but for little day trips, two or three hundred miles in a day, it does everything well. Um, not too uh, bad wooden buffeting on interstate speeds and even on the interstate. And these little back roads like this, it just, you know, you just can't get enough of this stuff. This is what riding a motorcycle is all about. Being away from all the hustle and bustle every day and just getting out and enjoying being outside and being one with Mother Nature, you know. Motorcycling, uh, for those of you who ride and for those of uh, you that don't ride, I can tell you this, it is the most pure uh, form of, and pure in form of transportation at the same time basically you're sitting on a motor mounted in a frame with two tires on it and that's it no matter if it's you know a bike with a lot of electronics and stuff like that but I have absolutely enjoyed riding myself I'm coming up on the end of my uh, end of my second full season riding I previously had a Suzuki uh, GS 500 F the fairing one for this and and that was a really good bike. I, th I think some people, depending on what they want to do on that bike, would be much happier with that as a first bike than, say, a 250 or even one of the new, like, Yamaha R3s. Because, you know, not that the R3s are bad, and, you know, not... Everybody likes different things, but eventually, unless, you know... Eventually, once you get used to riding, not that you're going to ride really aggressively. Some people might. Some people do. You know, it's just, it's whatever you enjoy and whatever you're comfortable with. But that bike right there, I think you'll be happier with over long term. You could probably even ride that bike for a couple seasons to really get, you know, a lot of uh, the riding basics down before you get into something with a lot of horsepower and get yourself hurt. Because, you know, although motorcycling is fun, it doesn't take a whole lot of skill, but you just, what I tend to do myself is, is I don't ride above my head, you know. I, 
if something makes me uncomfortable, I just slow down. You know, some people, you know, they may ride fast and they may enjoy it, but I never really have been like that. Even when I grew up riding fours and jet skis and stuff, I just enjoyed being outside. Um, of course, you know, granted, ever even myself, I'll I'll play around a little bit here and there. But you know, I'm a parent. Uh, I have children, and at the end of the day, more gravel on the road. And at the end of the day, it's about making sure you come home from them. I mean, granted, I'm all for anybody having any kind of fun. But if anybody's watching this who is a parent, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's the last thing you want to do is not be able to raise, uh, finish raising your children because of something you did that was irresponsible. Granted, riding motorcycles in itself is irresponsible, and you know can can get you kind of messed up but if you just if you you know just kind of don't ride above your head like I said and just you know some things that you don't feel comfortable with just slow down you know as long as you get there and back in one piece that's all that matters you know it's not it's not gonna be fun when you're laid up in a hospital for months on end or even just going for some road rash that's why I myself like right now I'm in full gear um, a good set of gloves with uh, knuckle protection and stuff even though they're not leather but they're one alpine stars uh, more upper end uh, short cuffs gloves um, I'm wearing a Tai Chi uh, RS core one jacket and a pair of textile riding pants one of these days I'll end up getting me some other pants but these are still a lot better than uh, just pure blue jeans you know <clears throat> and then I've got a uh, Alpine Star uh, boots SMX threes, I believe it is. It's basically just a mid boot, um, kind of like right up from the the short riding boot that Yamaha makes. Tell you what, I haven't seen any traffic or anything on this road. It's been pretty fun, other than a couple of little gravel spots. But you know, fantastic day to be riding on a road like this. I thought this road would actually be a little more curvier than this. Actually, by the way, uh, if you read what people say about it, it's just kind of just casual sweepers. No switchbacks. Of course, I'm sure probably not nowhere near to the worst of it yet. I'm sure the more it climbs, the more it goes around hills, the more it's going to go up and down. But so far right now, it's, uh, it's pretty good. It's not too challenging. Nothing that uh, even a new rider couldn't handle. You know, once again, watch out for uh, some debris in the road. Like, if you're still watching this, uh, some of the gravel I encountered. Tell I'm going up the mountain because I'm almost right underneath it now. Ooh, look at that rock. That's pretty cool. But uh, I am very blessed to live in an area where you could literally... Um, you know, I can be at uh, tail of the dragon or even the back of the dragon or any of that. And, you know, depending on where you want to go, in two or three hours, you know, just ride in some... It's some absolute... What the world's going on there? Just ride in some absolute fantastic uh, places to ride. Blue Ridge Parkway, or, um, you know, just an hour, about, uh, about an hour and a half uh, to pick it up for our grandfather mountain by where I live. It's another really pretty place. Even though it's just a park, it's Grandfather Mountain. But what a what a fun little road! I've rode uh, 421 is also really close to me. I'm be there in about 45 minutes. 421 store, and this is proving to be, I think, even better than 421 because it's not so. You know, so many low, low speed corners. Of course, it's getting worse, but 421 is just so many switchbacks. And I think, you know, although 421 is a good road, I don't know that it lives up to all the hype because people go there and they, they have fun and stuff like that. But I think a lot of people that enjoy 421 are the people that really ride super aggressive, you know, dragon knee, stuff like that. And, But I, uh, I put two new tires, um, a front and a rear, on this bike at the beginning of this riding season. And so far, they're not really showing very many, very much signs of wear. Of course, I think I've only ridden about mm, 
Well, I've heard about six or seven thousand miles this riding season. Not a whole lot because I don't have that much free time. But I think I've put about almost three thousand miles on these tires, and I, I think, oh, I'm trying to remember. I think I put one on around Fourth of July or something like that, and uh, they've done pretty well. They are Michelin Pilot uh, Road Fours. You know, kind of a good, pretty good sport turn bike. Something you get a lot of mileage out of. Um, if you was to get caught out in the rain in them, they, um, they're supposedly a very good uh, rain tire. Of course, not all of us plan to go ride in the rain. Um, especially on little day trips like this, you're probably really not going to encounter it unless you just, unless it's like today where there's not absolutely a cloud in the sky. But it seems like a, they're supposed to do really well. They have a lot of, a lot of things to get all the water out of the, out of the tread and all that stuff. So we'll see. But, uh, so far, this road's been been pretty fun. Been been worth an hour. Well, let's see. Uh, but close to two hours to get here. But it's been pretty fun. I've uh, enjoyed the day of riding once again. You know, a bad day of riding as long as uh, you don't have problems with the bike or don't lay the bike down and get hurt but a bad day riding even if you really don't really see anything is a lot better than a, a good day at work really get some elevation now it's cooling off just you know shade it's, uh, it's quite nice I'm sure uh, places like this and all the overlooks of the Blue Ridge Parkway that I really didn't get to ride very much last year but I have rode some more this year uh, I'm sure um, Blue Ridge Parkway and stuff in the fall here when all the leaves actually change the rest of the way is absolutely gorgeous. Another thing that I might as well talk on while I'm talking to everyone riding is I recently uh, purchased a drone um, a Phantom 3 Professional uh, and the Phantom 3 Professional has a 4K uh, camera and I think I've uploaded three and gonna upload another one uh, in the next day or so that'll make a total of four. And I'll tell you what um, I have uh, I've, I've enjoyed that a lot. You know, it's it's pretty easy to fly. You still have to pay attention to what you're doing, and stuff like that, and you know, not be dumb. Be like, oh, I'm gonna miss that tree and hit it, of course. But you know, as long as you fly with a little bit of common sense, uh, it's proving to be um, pretty user friendly. But I myself, I raced uh, nitro RC cars. Um, when I say nitro, one with actual motor itself and um, electric ones for several years um, before I moved here. And still, from time to time, uh, do it here and there. Although motorcycling is taking up a lot of that, because I'd rather ride sometimes than uh, go out and race uh, RC cars. But that's okay. You know, um, may try to do some more of it uh, next year. Or something. But anyways, uh, sorry to get off topic. Uh, the Phantom Three uh, Professional uh, that I have found a really good deal on it. Um, Actually, on um, Best Buy's website, they had uh, the better deal on it than uh, anyone else I found, believe it or not. And you can actually uh, do a store pickup or just have it delivered uh, to your house, free shipping. And I want to say I ordered it that day, and two days later, it was at my house. So I'm sure it come from uh, a Best Buy warehouse or, or something somewhere. But I actually find, found it for this, about the same price as... Um, I want to say it was just uh, like 635 with tax. More gravel here. But up until a couple weeks before that, when I really uh, made a decision to purchase one, uh, I saw the Advance, which is the middle of the road. It doesn't have a 4K camera. It just has, it'll just support up to 1080. And, um, and I was going to go with it just because it's a little bit cheaper and better in my budget because um, it'll basically do just about all the same stuff the 4k one will do and um turns out um uh, found the professional with a 4k camera and everything for about to sit right at the same price as the advance which is the middle of the road um for those of you who don't know phantom uh phantom 3 uh by dji uh they have um a standard which is just a it's not that it's any cheaper it just doesn't have as many bells and whistles and stuff but it's still pretty close basically to be the same drone as even a professional like mine, um, just a small differences on stuff. But uh, that one, I, I want to say that one is only like 
300 maybe $350 I'm not sure don't quote me on that but um yeah there's there's so many cool areas to fly over in mountains and lakes and stuff here where I live at and so much good scenery to make really good videos and not really even to upload them all you know just to share a place you went and have that for memories or just whatever you know mine itself on a full battery um, I never really pushed the battery down really low but it'll um it'll supposedly fly 23 minutes and I usually like 30% come back down you still get a you know a 14 15 minute flight out of that which is it's pretty good you know you could even use it if um, say uh, your children or uh, different family members that you know maybe brothers and sisters or something like that were into sports or you know you could use it to film some of them playing overhead or just um, all kind of stuff you know it's I've uh, I've really enjoyed it actually uh, I have a one of the molded uh, the backpacks I put all of it in and I can actually uh, go film some stuff I don't have it on today but I can actually go some film some stuff on the bike uh, where there's several lakes with only about 30 minutes from us and just go film up by the lake and uh, you know just to make some cool uh, footage and stuff but I think I'm about to talk guys so hope y'all enjoyed this ride and the scenery and uh, I'll see y'all later thanks see you